Well, I wanted to fight Anderson. They said I didn't have a big name uh, to fight Anderson, but uh, now he's taking Derek Bronson. Uh, I think it's star wise is better fight for Anderson because you know, no disrespect to uh, Derek Bronson, he's a solid fighter, but his stand up is just terrible. He, he just swings like he's in a bar fight. Uh, of course, if he catches you, he will knock you out because he swings, but uh, yeah, I used to stand up with that. Okay, so the UFC told you they couldn't give you a fight with Anderson because you don't have a popular name? They said that to you? Uh, yeah, I, I heard that before, yeah. What do you make of that? Well, I don't know. Uh, you, know I'm, uh, you know, I'm fighting for a long, long time, so I think people know me, but uh, I don't know, uh, you know. Uh, I think, uh, <laughs> I don't know, just maybe the bigger audience, I'm not that big of a name, you know. So, but we're getting there, you know. So I'm getting the fight that I want. So Chris Weidman is next. So it's maybe even better fight than Anderson because uh, he's going to get me a title of me. to me at this point you know we, we we've known each other for so long we've been so close you know my first you know i i tell it i'm encouraging him not to fight you know that's obviously my first encouragement um bj penn is going to fight again you know what i mean if he if they'll let him fight again he'll fight again you know he's going to campaign for another fight i mean there's nothing you can do about it you know you can say hey people say hey Perella, you know if you're you know if you're a really good coach you would encourage him not to fight just like you're saying not to fight and and, and you would tell me, you're right. And, and, and if you think that I haven't done that, then that's just your ignorance. You don't understand. You, you have, you, you're not, you know, around every one of our conversations, obviously. But, you know, of course, his family, his, 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 the mother of his kid, everybody. Of course you encourage. When everybody's saying this guy shouldn't fight, you know what I mean, anymore, of course, they, you're, you're pretty much an asshole telling this guy to fight. Like, what do you want him to die? That type of thought process, right? No matter which way, you know, this guy is going to, it's like Mike. I, I say all the time, Mike says, you know, I, you know, I don't know how many more fights Mike plans on doing, but trust me, it's going to be a tough, tough time to get these guys to stop fighting. I mean, look, at I got Tito Ortiz fighting this weekend. He's 42 years old. You know, if, if, if he's going to fight again, and like I say, I say don't fight. I say, I'm going to fight anyway. You know, I'm going to go train out with Greg Jackson and Winkle John, and I would like you to be a part of it as well. Do I say yes or no? I can say no, fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself because you should listen to me and not fight anymore. Because that's what I want you to do. But guess what? This motherfucker, if he wants to fight again, he's going to go do it. NJ Czech, the UFC Women's Throwaway Champion. Want to know what uh, makes me stay on the top and pound for pound the best woman fighter in the world? Well, now you can talk to me live and face to face on padlock.com uh, live 
January 26th. See you guys.